Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. Rajiv Dhawan and here I present to you the most important radiological signs of ENT which can come as a visual question in the exam as well. Look at the number one. The first one is the thumb sign or the thumb print sign. It is seen in a patient of acute epiglottitis when you do an x-ray soft tissue neck lateral view. Can you see the swollen epiglottis which looks like a thumb? Yes. Number two, steeple sign. Now, steeple sign is seen in a case of acute laryngotracheobronchitis, also called as croup. Now, what is steeple? Steeple is the narrowing of subglottic area. Look at the white arrow. It's pointing towards the narrowed subglottis, whereas the below, the trachea has got a normal lumen over there. Now, let's come to the third sign. The third sign, look over here. It's Hallman-Miller sign or enteral sign which is seen in a case of CT scan of a patient suffering from angiofibroma. Now, what is Hallman-Miller sign? Look at this picture. It is the anterior bowing of posterior wall of maxilla. Means, when the tumor is growing behind the maxilla, it pushes the posterior wall of maxilla forwards. Okay. Now, let us see the next sign. The next sign is called delta sign. The delta sign is seen on the CT scan of the brain in a patient of sigmoid sinus thrombosis, also called as lateral sinus thrombosis. Now, let us see the next sign. The next sign is over here, widening of prevertebral shadow with the normal cervical spine and the child is having respiratory difficulty and strider is there. This is a case of acute retropharyngeal abscess. Can you see the widening of prevertebral shadow? Yes. Now, the last sign. The last sign is called teardrop sign or teardrop opacity, which is seen on a CT scan of a patient who suffered the blowout fracture of orbit, which is the fracture of the orbital floor caused by the injury with a solid rounded object like a, like a golf ball. So, these were the important radiological signs of ENT, which are important for the visual question for your exam as well. Keep learning.